Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial where I'm going to be looking at some free LUTs that you can get from this web page which is run by Digital Camera World and it is a tutorial that is done by James Patterson it was released in December 17th 2002 now I'll add a link to this page in the in the description for this video now there is a video here which you can watch and it starts the the majority of them it is James Patterson showing you how to sort of manually do these monochrome treatments and at the end he does sort of touch on the free LUTs which is what I want to look at um, but if I go further down this page there is also a written part where he sort of also describes how to do it sort of in text so you can either watch the video or you can follow the text if you want to do everything manually but in this section here there's a bit here so 16 free presets and if you click and download this you will get a zip file called pp16 I believe it's called so you will then have to unzip that file and once it is unzipped and I'm I'm fairly certain on Windows there is a uh, pre-installed zip file program I'm not certain whether there is one on the Mac um, but I just imagine it's fairly easy to download if you need one so once you have downloaded and unzipped the file you will get this oh it's PP196 so when you have this unzipped inside you have two folders one for the Mac users and this one here for the PC users and inside this we have two Im three images I should say and two folders now there's one folder of light leaks which I will look at the end of this video this is sort of a bonus and then we have the free black and white tinting set and if we have a look at that it is BW tinting set dot a flats. Now an A flats file is an affinity photo category of LUTs. It's not an individual LUT. Um, so let me come back to here. Now this image here, tint before, is the image that is part of the LUTs tutorial. I'm guessing this one and this other oh there is also another LUT star image there but uh, this retro star image is part of the retro light leaks tutorial which I don't know where the link for that is but we have the files here so I can like I said at the end of this video I'll do a quick look at how to use those so I have that image opened in Affinity Photo. Now this is Affinity Photo 2, but you could probably just as easily do this in Affinity Photo 1, where LUTs were slightly, uh, uh, I think they're pretty much the same as they are now, but they, they did used to be different, but they've now sort of recently updated, even on version 1. Now, to get a LUT, and LUT is lookup table, there are plenty of videos out there that explain sort of installing individual LUTs um, but oh, basically a LUT is very similar to a Photoshop uh, preset in that it changes a, an image to a certain colour or colour setting um, in this case it's going to be monochrome settings but LUTs and or presets can do fairly similar things they're not exactly the same but they are work on the same sort of premise now to like i said to open an individual LUT you can do that two ways 
you can come up to I think it's layer menu new adjustment and down to LUT similarly you can come over to this half black and white adjustment icon in the layer studio and click on LUT and this will give you the same thing and as you can see it has added a LUT adjustment as a child layer to that image and you can click on this load LUT and look for an individual LUT file now not all but a lot of individual LUT files end with dot cube there are other LUT file formats but cube is the one I've seen the most but we don't want an individual LUT so I'm going to delete that and what you do need is to have the adjustment studio now if I remember rightly the adjustment studio wasn't here by default um, but if you haven't got yours you can come to the Windows menu and just click on adjustment and that will open the adjustment whether it's in this middle panel I can't remember I may have moved it into there because that's where I prefer it but it will be in one of these studios so once you have the adjustment open or the adjustment studio should call it and come down to LUT click on that you will then get a list of some of these are come with the program and you also have this drop down menu where as you can see I have default and I also have some oh, what's, it, what's his name J R something Britson uh, James Ritson I think it is who's the serif chap who does all the videos for serif he did some architecture and landscape LUTs which I downloaded so we're now going to install a new category so this cog that's up here in the top right corner you click on that and then import LUT category you then just have to navigate to where you have yours um, downloaded mine's on the download folder and then navigate to where it is select it and come down to open and then that BW toning category will be included now and we now have all these BW toning LUTs and you can just click on one let's try blue and as you can see it has changed the effect and it has also put that named as you can see it ends in dot cube so let's try golden sepia and let's, let's try one more try platinum so that looks quite good on that particular image and I'm quite happy with that so you can just click through all of those and find a LUT that you like and if you want to go back to the default ones just click on that and you could even try some of the ones that come with affinity itself now obviously these aren't monochrome LUTs but you get the idea and just clicking on the word default will bring it back to having no LUT at all so that's a quick look at how to install those LUTs you need to do it through the adjustment studio and not via the adjustments menu slightly confusing right so looking at these light leaks let me open up this retro star image and we will also have a look at the light leaks so you can see you've got all these different light leak images and I'm going to go for let's try this last one here now there are various ways of copy and pasting things into documents but I personally prefer this way I find it a lot easier I just open both images 
come to the one I want to copy into right click the layer click copy come back to the image I want to add it to and then the edit menu and paste and then if I come to the move tool as you can see this particular image is smaller than the one that's there I'll just make this the same size and then all you got to do then is change the blend mode and I believe screen will be the one that works best there you go so you then have that sort of li vintage light leak effect on the image you can obviously sort of lower the opacity and change the intensity of how strong that light leak is I mean around the 50% mark would be my preference but you might want it stronger or not as strong so with just one tutorial you get some free LUTs and you also get some free light leak overlays so it's well worth downloading and using both or just one of those as you see fit so that is all I think so thank you for watching and goodbye